hi friends today we'll see how to import a mendix email module to mendix project uh, this is required to send an email from mendix application whether it is running in mendix local or in cloud environment now for that we have to import my email module to the mendix project the mendix provides the standard modules for this functionality we will see how to import that module and also prior to that we we have to import other modules there are the dependencies for this email module we will see what those are the dependency modules are mx module reflection and encryption module these two modules needs to be imported uh, to work with the email module next step we will see how to import these modules to the project you all know the app store is the place where all the standard modules are available we can make use of those modules to our project there are different ways uh, to go to the app store directly we can give the a uh, link in the browser also other way is from project we can directly go to the app store we will see both the ways to reach the app store um, first we will see from outside of the project uh, in this slide i provide a link if we click on this mendes marketplace link directly it will take you to the app store module Yeah, this is the app store. Uh, we came directly using the link marketplace at mendix.com. I will show you other way after this. Here you can see the different options. Get Studio Pro means you can uh, take the different uh, versions of that Studio Pro. And widgets means that the text box has labels. If anything is uh, provided in the standard thing, you can import from here and also here main thing here's the modules these are the uh, mendex provided standard modules directly we can uh, type here whatever module if you know that name uh, as we discussed here we need three modules mx model reflection encryption and email model with templates first we need to download these three modules into the local drive from there we can import to the mendix project yeah we will see one by one yeah this is the mx model reflection module Then we have download option. It will ask you the path where to download. I am directly downloading it to my desktop. You can see here all the modules extension will be MPK. Then next we have to other dependency encryption. Same way, you have to download to your local drive. If we observe here, there are different versions. These versions, we have to check which version will support to your Studio Pro version. at last but the main one email email module with templates
Now we will see. Yeah, here we downloaded all three modules. Next step, we have to import all three modules into Mendex project. We will see that. Now I am at project. If you right click here, you have to use the import module package. Then you have to select. First, I am importing email template. Then import. It is saying that the following person project ID will be ordered by those in the package. That means I already in my project already email template I installed. That's why it's saying. Otherwise, it will import directly there. Same way, we have to import all three modules using the import module package after importing you can see how we those modules will be at project see here this is the email template module you can see mx model reflection module and also encryption yeah this is the encryption module and now see how in it contains each model in Mendix, it has its own domain model. If you open the domain model, you can see the different entities. We will call them as entities. Uh, these are the, you can observe here two things. This color is different. What does it mean is, this a blue color ones, we call it as a persistent entities. The yellow color, orange color one, we call it as a non-persistent entities. The difference between persistent and non-persistent entities are persistent entities is the it will be stored in the database physically it will be available into the database but non-persistent entities we can use them at runtime for temporary storage purpose they won't store into the database level that's the main difference then if we Whenever you import that email template module, that Mendix provides some samples here. Instead of changing this one directly, you can create your custom ones based on your requirements. You can duplicate these microflows. Or, and one, one more thing you have to see here, there is a administration snippet. The email template details. If you open this one, this is the template. It contains all the what is the template name from CC. Everything it will be there. I will show you how it will use to create the new template. Actually, this snippet it will use you to create the different types of uh, templates or to or to send an email. Then other module, the dependency module, I will tell you what is the ease of that MX model reflection and encryption modules. Hey, this, these are the different places, layers, encryption. Here also you can see the samples of that how to configure but you no need to change everything just here there is a java action these are the java actions this one prefix value this here we have to give the 16 digit default key you have to provide this one here you don't need to change anything this 
okay next one we have to see the mx module here only in the encryption module you have to use the 16 digit key to encrypt and decrypt the email uh, user id and passwords this mx model reflection model it will ease to refresh or synchronize the model with the project suppose here uh, we imported three modules one is the encryption other one is the mx model reflection and the main one is the email model with templates this model should synchronize with the project for that we have to use the mx model reflection now this uh, this is the way we have to import the email template to the mendix project i will show you also how to create the email template for that we have to first after importing the modules we have to save the project then we have to run locally now we'll see how that look Here you can see system config tile. You click on that, you can see the email config option. Here you can create the template based on the your requirement. Actually, there are different templates. You can create a new one. You have to give the template name from all the details you have to provide here. And also how that sample will be there you have to give. For example, here I have the my first template. I have provide the template name from where we are sending reply to. This is the way we have to create the new template. Then another one, this is the email template module here different options configuration admin tasks status of the email you can see here whether it's send it's around the queue we'll see the other module what you don't import it to the project that is the mx model reflection As I said to you before, we have to synchronize all the standard modules or any modules in your project. We have to synchronize it to the project. For that, we have to click on the refresh button here. In our case, we imported the email. Then we have to see here, there is the email template. We have to check this email template. Then we have to click on the refresh. Same way for entities also, we have to refresh here. yeah this is the way how to import the uh, standard email module from app store to mendix project and how to synchronize those module to the project i guess if you like my video please subscribe thank you